Lemonade for Sale by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by Tricia Tusa. The members of Elm Street Kids Club were feeling glum. Our clubhouse is falling down and our piggy bank is empty, Meg said. I know how we can make some money, said Matthew. Let's sell lemonade. Danny said, I bet if we can sell about 30 or 40 cups each day for a week, we'll make enough money to fix our clubhouse. Let's keep track of our sales. Sherry said, I can make a bar graph. I'll list the number of cups up the side like this. I'll show the days of the week along the bottom like this. On Monday, they set up their corner stand. When people walked by, Petey, Meg's pe pet parrot, squawked, Lemonade for sale! Lemonade for sale! Matthew squeezed the lemons. Meg mixed in some sugar. Danny shook it up with some ice and poured it into the cups. Sherry kept track of how many cups they sold. Sherry announced, we sold 30 cups today. I'll fill in the bar above Monday up to the 30 on the side. Not bad, said Danny. Not bad, not bad, chattered Petey. On Tuesday, Petey squawked again. Lemonade for sale, lemonade for sale. And more people came by. Matthew squeezed more lemons, Meg mixed in more sugar, and Danny shook it up with ice and poured it into more cups. And Sherry kept track of how many cups they sold. Sherry shouted, We sold 40 cups today. I'll fill in the bar above Tuesday, up to the number 40. The bars show that our sales are going up. Things are looking good, said Meg. Looking good, looking good, chattered Petey. On Wednesday, Petey squawked, Lemonade for sale! So many times that most of the neighborhood stopped by. Matthew squeezed even more lemons. Meg mixed even more sugar. And Danny shook it up with ice and poured it into even more cups. And Sherry kept track of how many cups they sold. Sherry yelled, We sold 56 cups today! I'll fill in the Wednesday's bar up to the little more than halfway between 50 and 60. That's great! shouted Matthew. That's great! That's great! bragged Petey. They opened again on Thursday, but something was wrong. No matter how many times P.D. squawked, Lemonade for sale! Hardly anyone stopped by. Matthew squeezed just a few lemons. Meg mixed in only a couple of spoonfuls of sugar. And Danny's ice smelted while he waited. And Sherry kept track of the few cups they sold. Sherry said, we sold only 24 cups today. Thursday bar is way down low. There goes our clubhouse, said Danny sadly. Petey didn't even make a sound. I think I know what's going on, said Matthew. Look, he pointed down the street. There's someone juggling on that corner. And everyone's going over there to watch. Let's go check it out, said Meg. Danny asked the juggler, Who are you? I'm Jed, said the juggler. I just moved here. Sherry had an idea. She whispered something to Jed. On Friday, Sherry arrived with Jed. Jed's going to juggle right next to our stand, Sherry said. That day, Petey squawked, Jed juggled, and more people came by than ever before. 
Matthew squeezed loads of lemons. Meg mixed in a ton of sugar. Danny shook it up with lots and ice and almost ran out of cups. And Sherry could hardly keep track of how many cups they sold. We sold so many cups today that our sales are over the top. We have enough money to rebuild our clubhouse. Hooray! They all shouted. Jed! Jed! Will you join our club? You bet! Said Jed. You bet! You bet! Squawked Petey. The End